the process of setting up my lighting and guy I can see the lighting let's just start there seeing the lighting but I didn't know what I thought it was going to give but <laughs> surely but anyway Hi guys <laughs> Hi guys. Thumbnail. Let's peep the earrings, the makeup. I just got my hair on, my hair on, my hair on. My hair, my hair on, my hair on. I've been on the It's giving like a mysterious vibe. <laughs> Ama maybe I'm being delusional, but let me start. Hi guys. Hi. My name is Chelsea. Welcome back to my channel. I can't believe this is me actually making a second video. So I posted a video. I posted my first video and I think I was talking about self-worth and my embarrassing journey with self-worth. Okay, I know it's not embarrassing, but uh, I feel like I've watched that video over and over in editing and editing and editing. I feel like I've watched it for so many hours. And yeah, guys, you know, sometimes you just have to cringe at some of your stuff. Like, I feel like I can't bring myself to watch it, to be honest. I was a bit scared of promoting it because I was like, damn, I'm not going to be And I was a dumb bitch. Okay, I was not a dumb bitch. I just didn't know better. But I'm not going to But you know, it is what it is. Like same thing i said in the video i'm not holding anything against myself anymore but you know too you can image you watch but i feel like i've rambled but yeah hi guys my name is chelsea Owiti. welcome back to my channel and over here we talk yeah we we'll be having thoughts so today what i wanted to talk to to you guys about is letting go of the story not another story story ganyo <laughs> anyway you you might wonder okay chelsea oh my god wait look 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 five 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 it's a sign <laughs> but i was saying i wanted to talk about letting go of the story guys i think this is something that i learned in my self-worth journey and let what what do i mean exactly with letting go of the story you know that thing let's say for example you 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 don't feel confident in yourself and you don't feel confident in yourself because maybe when you are a kid people are children are fucking stupid and shitty to you so that's the story you have in your mind about yourself <laughs> imagine me but anyway that's the story you have in your mind about yourself because of something that happened in your past or let's say for example you know, you always get shy, like when you are in primary or high school. Notice, I, I'm I'm using primary and high school examples because this is where these stories begin. Because this is where our self-esteem, our self-confidence, let's be real, is fast shattered. Do not understand? And you, and you, you move through life with a shattered or underdeveloped sense of self, in my opinion. So let's say maybe you are in primary, you are in primary, you are asked to read the Kamusi or some shit. I don't know. Now we gonna share mine. People made fun of you, and it creates the story that ah, uh, I'm not good at public speaking. Like, are you seeing how easy it is for us to create stories and narratives about ourselves? You know, like I don't know. Nasketo, it's very easy to create a story about yourself and still stick by it. If let's say, for example, maybe you are a late bloomer, so people really weren't. People really weren't pursuing you in primary and some people that's when they're getting attention that's when that's how you first like start learning and seeing experiencing relationships like when you're a kid and you know you maybe you weren't pursued so you hold on to the story that uh you know maybe people just don't like me and stuff which is simply which is simply untrue and you understand like are you seeing how it's so easy to have a story about yourself and cling on to this story about yourself and we don't realize how you're 22 years old or you're 25 year old and you're 32 years old and you're still letting a story about yourself that does no longer serve you rule your life and you understand like for example 
what story did I used to have about myself? Okay, I was a late bloomer, you know, so I wasn't really being pursued. And you know, kids were mean as fuck, so you know, that fucks with your sense of self. You know, understand? But like, and I, and I see how I carried that story with me for such a long time. I carried that story with me even after I've finished all these my mother's a primary, my mother's a high school, umingia uni, umianza ku glow up, and you know, you, you know you can just be talking to somebody close to you and you're trying to explain why you struggle with something like let's say i'm trying to explain why i struggle with posting an instagram and you know i just say you know how in primary kids were shit kids were what are you seeing the story it is 2023 i'm still carrying a story from 10 years ago with me and this is not a video that is now at a, I and by no means do I wish to invalidate every, anybody's experience hell no it's valid that's baby you that experienced that you understand baby when you look at a version of you that experienced shit picture child version of you because that's the person that experienced it not even you right now as an adult baby me that's who experienced it and I don't even know but when I just learned about the story you have of yourself I was mind blown and I realized I've been carrying this story about myself like oh I'm not confident oh people were mean to me oh this guy rated me at this in primary and at this and it's just like I'm holding on to something a part of me I'm holding on to a part of a story that not only doesn't serve me but hurts me you understand and I'm letting this story shape how I move, how I feel about life right now. So for example, I can justify, oh, you know, I'm not confident posting on Instagram because like, you know, people are mean to me in primary. You know, understand? Ama, you can justify being scared of romantic relationships because you know that a late bloomer. Everybody was mean to you in primary. Nobody pursued you. And hence, that's the story you've carried yourself. So when somebody is pursuing you after you've grown up, life has changed. Somebody is pursuing you. You're suspicious of it. You don't believe it. You, it just feels like, I, it's too good to be true. And it's because there's a story you're still carrying about yourself that baby you experienced, you know. Baby you, when with the time when you're beginning to explore this identity of you, baby you was made fun of. Baby you was told you're ugly. Baby you was told you don't fit. Like, I don't know, kids were shit. And let me tell you, I can't even explain where the story comes from, but everybody who's watching this video knows we all have that one story about ourselves. But the question is, is this story serving us? And I'm not saying forgive the people who did this to you. No, we don't even remember their names. We don't even remember the people who made us feel this way, to be honest. So sometimes, yeah, we do, but you don't need their forgiveness to let go of this story. You know, you need yourself. That's all you need by there to let go of the story. You need yourself and you need courage. You need courage to be able to give yourself a new story. Like, okay, Sawa, I was a late bloomer and people made fun of appearance, but huh? look at me now. I love how I look now. Like, I don't know. I'm just trying to stress that we have the power to change our story. That's the thing. And, the, and changing your story, you, it's not dependent on somebody's forgiveness, somebody acknowledging what they did to you. No, you can liberate yourself right here, right now in this video. And another thing I'm going to say about this story, we tell ourselves about ourselves. Let's say, for example, and I'm going to, I'm tying, I'm tying this more to like childhood. I feel like if I remember my childhood and my primary experience and like as people only being mean to me, is it really an accurate representation of my entire childhood? Is it like so I'm not saying people weren't mean to me, but only choosing to remember those parts and talk about those parts. I feel like our story we 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 can reclaim our story and we can what can I say? <sighs> Guys, what the hell? But like I just feel like when you choose to stick by a certain part of your story, you're not being fair to yourself and you're also not being honest with yourself because it's just not true. Imagine your life in primary or high school or at home, it wasn't all sadness. This is not to say that the bad times this didn't happen, but you know what? The way we live in the bad times, let's try and live in the good times also. That's just what I'm trying to say. In also, in also the process of trying to recreate and reclaim your story let's look at let's let's take a step back and like okay people are mean to me in primary but you know 
let's let's put that on pause let's remember what else about primary you are an amazing performer you are a good athlete you participated in cultural days and stuff like that you understand like i don't know i don't know guys and it's not i don't know it's it's not to to give you all the full solution and stuff like that but it's just to let's not only focus on the bad story you know what if you can have a bad story hell you can have a good story also okay you can have the bad story that's like okay i'm not confident because people were mean to me but you can also have the good story that's like yeah i really excelled in my athletics and i'm still athletic till this day because i was only i really love that stuff you know i loved gymnastics as a kid that's why i'm doing this now i loved arts and crafts as a kid that's why i want to be an artist now when i understand like i'm saying let's expand the story and if possible let's change the story you know so like for example for me i really held on to that story of how everybody made me feel when i was younger because i was a kid i was a kid like the fuck me been you know you you're a kid you don't think you look a certain way i don't even know kids were just brutal like so um i don't have boobs yet you in akwashia ya kuashia nini kids are brutal i'm not gonna deny that but like i don't know mine is just to say that guys we have the power to change and reclaim our story like okay what was i where was i going with this i was saying like for example me the story i had about myself was that i think it was heavily tied to my looks because that was also what was heavily criticized do you understand so i developed a story in reference to that and it really affected my confidence and all of this but i've also always been the sort of person who could research who work on myself yani ever since i was a kid me i used to be ja- i used to be journaling back in 08 me i had a journal me i used to write about these things i used to write about the shit the shitty things people said i used to process my emotions and i didn't realize i was processing them but i used to do that but anyway I just sat down and realized I've carried this story unknowingly because let's be real it's not every time you're going to be here oh I can't post this Instagram photo cuz James Orengo said I look I'm a negative too in class 6 it's not always like that like you're not always carrying at you thinking of the story but you don't realize how we let the story affect our actions affect the things we do like affect our confidence affect the limitations we even place on ourselves when i understand like say, let's say you didn't feel confident as a kid so you don't feel like you have the right to be confident now that's wrong we can change our story baby you didn't feel confident but that's exactly why you owe it to yourself to become the most confident version of yourself. Unani understand like not even just for child you in a, like baby you. Unani understand like or even when you're being hypercritical of yourself, just know the person you're really being hypercritical of was younger you, baby you. Unani understand like I don't know. I feel like I'm saying points and I'm forgetting them at the same time, guys, but like all I'm trying to say is it's important to be aware of the story you're telling yourself about yourself because we we don't realize we're letting these stories run our lives i i have a friend who was so scared of posting on instagram and it's because of the story she was holding on to about herself i was also once like that I, i'm just scared of wearing certain things of posting oh i was for sure like that scared of posting certain things scared of how people are gonna perceive me and it's because of the story i didn't realize i've been carrying with me all this time and then you know how i changed the story one day i think i was drunk my journal and i wrote all that stuff i wrote it all i got it all out you know just sometimes just because something happened to you doesn't mean you've processed it and when it comes to the story we tell ourselves about ourselves we hold on to those stories because we know it hurts let's be real we know just how much it hurts when i understand but what i want to ask okay look at the story acknowledge it hurts but i feel like let's just stay with one thing let's just stay with the heart let's just stay with the pain the sadness and truly grieve what baby us felt and went through but not the story though you don't understand like okay people bullied me for my appearance in primary that makes me feel like shit but you know what i'd rather stay with the feeling of feeling like shit like ah oh, because i'm really realizing damn younger me didn't deserve that at all 
but what i want to work on releasing is the story let me stay with this feeling of shit so that i can even observe it and see what it's telling me or what it's i don't even know what it's showing me about how something even truly affected me and how small it even made me feel about myself you know like i don't know guys and when it comes to letting go of the story I don't know i feel like i don't want to come off as preachy in this video i'm telling you oh like no because i more than anything know how hard it is to let go of the story but i just wanna i hope you know it's possible anybody watching this video who is struggling with letting go of a certain negative story they have about themselves over and over i hope you know it's possible to let it go it's possible to change your narrative it's possible to change your story it's so freaking possible like yeah and you know what let's sit with the emotions of the story and observe them and really see damn so this is how my younger me really did feel you know and it's and as older us it's our job to it's our job to just tend to our inner child so that we never find ourselves feeling like that ever again not even for the sake of us now but for the sake of our inner child that was once made to feel that small you know so I feel like for example you are made like when you when you're young you're made to feel like you're too much you're too loud you're too this and so when you grow up into somebody that's scared of showing the full extent and range in themselves and you're scared you're scared to really just truly be you with all of it all of it the, the parts that will rub people the wrong way the parts that will also rub people the right way you're scared because when you are young you are always told you're too much you're too much so what can we take from that we can observe the story we can observe the scarcity it made us feel. We can observe how small it made us feel and we can make it our job to ensure we never feel that small or scarce ever again. And how can we do that? By taking up space now and looking at the spaces that remind us of that feeling. That in kumbusha yo feeling, yeah, damn, I used to be made... What all can I find on skin? Kama, I'm too much. Unani understand? You watch out for those spaces and you live. Because that's not a space in a child you would be comfortable in. Why should adults you be comfortable in it? You know, like, I feel like when you move through life guarding your inner child ferociously, and this isn't guarding in that now your walls are up and you never let anything in. Mm -mm. It's just guarding in that being aware of your triggers, being aware in situations that bring out certain emotions on you, being aware of them. Because I feel like once you're aware of these things, you can leverage them. They're your superpower. You can leave them. You can change. You can... I don't know guys but when it comes to the story you tell yourself about yourself the advice i'd give you is broaden your perspective if you can think about the bad story you can also think of a good story like okay school was shit but probably at home was great probably you had those amazing friends from childhood probably you had amazing experiences you maybe traveled the world as a kid you understand like let's also be aware of what story are we choosing to focus on what story are we choosing to hold on to and anything you hold on to is because part of you hasn't resolved it yet part of you hasn't dealt with it yet that story you tell yourself about yourself and that's what you use to justify oh i can't do this i can't be here i can't have that there's some unresolved feeling that you've not really felt and dealt with that's why this story in a can away jupi away but you've not let go of those emotions yet you know what i mean but anyway now when it comes to tips let me tell you now tips on how to shift your story about yourself the story you tell yourself about yourself and so number one shadow work shadow work is just journaling to uncover things about yourself that are in your subconscious things you're probably not so aware of like trauma responses you're not aware of limitations you place yourself are not you're not aware of i'd highly highly encourage shadow work mini likachini nankwan melewa nanikajano like three pages unani understand just talking about how i truly felt how younger me truly felt unani understand and number two is affirmations. Whenever you're trying to make a shift in your life, you need to start by shifting your subconscious. You understand? These stories we tell ourselves about ourselves, they're deep in our subconscious, engraved in our psyche. So that's where we have to start. It's not just, oh, now you'll pack up makeup, you'll wear these clothes, you'll feel confident. If you don't feel con confident inside, it doesn't matter who compliments you. It doesn't matter what you wear, what you watch. You'll never feel that way. So number two, I'd say affirmations. And number three, I'd also say scripting. Come up with a new story. Unani understand? Think about who you wanna be, and 
write about that girl write about her and start embodying her in small ways what decisions would this girl make, would, would this girl make like for example the version of me that wants to be successful at youtube I'm if you home sign and I record a video and that's exactly what I've done. I'm at a salon and I've said, wow, the hair is looking good. Let me just beat the face and record this video because I know if I don't record this video, I won't have time to upload it this weekend because I'm going to record, edit, post. And the version of me that is confident in herself is posting on YouTube. She's doing this. She's recording the videos. She's editing them and she's posting them. And she's, you get what I mean? Like, yeah, so that's what I'd say. And last but not least, I'm gonna say community. Your community matters. When I realized I had this story about myself, I was talking to my friend, my friend called Brandy. Love. So she was telling me how we were like at a party, and she's telling me how this guy he likes me, etc. etc. And I don't know, I didn't like that because like I why am I finding out you like me through my friends? You just come and tell me. And I remember I was like, ah, oh, I don't like that they're not being direct about it and stuff like you know and then i started telling her about the story i've always had you know in primary people were like this to me but and then in that way i can remember too please like yo let it go your stuff Elisha, Isha. and that's how i realized oh shit i've been carrying this story about myself so much that any somebody is just hitting on me i'm boom directly story mode you know the story of how shitty i felt when i was a kid why whereas somebody who doesn't have such a story about themselves your friend comes and tells you oh, this person likes you 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 see it as a sim even you you get on your game you get on your zoom like oh okay oh that's game that's what's up you know like you get what i mean are you seeing all the stories you tell yourself about yourself will have you even looking and perceiving things differently like something harmless like somebody just likes me and i'm at a party i've already inserted my story there i've already like i've already inserted my story there and i'm already trying to what's the word why does this always happening to me but i'm already trying to downplay and look at the negative worst case scenario over what somebody at a party who just likes me like come on girl come on you know so that's why it's so important to think about the story about yourself that you have and so for anybody watching this video what's a story about yourself you're holding on to it could be it could be anything it could be about anything you know what think how actually how you want to know the story you're telling yourself what stories you're holding on to think about something you struggle with something you deeply desire but you truly struggle with ask yourself okay what's the story behind that when did i first feel like that like for example you struggle with you struggle with your self-worth just ask yourself when did i first feel like i'm not worth anything who made me feel like that the first way for the first time or let's say you struggle with articulating yourself just really sit down and ask yourself okay when was i first made to feel like i can't articulate myself like you know you struggle with how you look when were you first made to feel like how you look how you look is less than or anything and by the way to anybody watching this whose story is about how they look i just hope you know the way you look is the least interesting thing about you can you imagine you have so many other cool things about you that the way you look and you look amazing is the least interesting thing about you so for anybody watching this please take back your cup <laughs> english take back your power reclaim your story and change your narrative you know if you want to change your life you need to change your mind change your thoughts change your beliefs you change your beliefs you change your actions you change your actions you change your outcomes so but you have to start at level one and unfortunately level one is that story you need to let go of that story you know because they it does not serve you it doesn't serve me it doesn't serve you it doesn't serve anyone especially if it's a story that's holding you back if you have the story about yourself that you're the hottest sexiest person on this earth by all means keep that story but if your story is limiting you is holding you back and you know low key it's probably time to try and see how you can let that go so yeah modeling but anyway guys thank you so much if you've made it to this part of the video i think this like 20 something minutes thank you so much if you've made it made it this far 
and I wish you all the best in your journey of trying to improve yourself, of trying to unlearn certain things about yourself. These are things I struggle with too and you know what, I started a platform because ho I'm hoping to connect with people that are looking for somebody like me, somebody that's gonna talk about these things because I struggle with these things so like yeah, Kenyan version, you know? <laughs> But anyway, thank you guys. Mwah. I don't know if this lighting will be annoying, but Mutani Show. Mutani Show. Bye.